Good morning. Today we are doing Pythagorean Theorem number 2. It says I can use and apply the Pythagorean Theorem. So remember our Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared for any right triangle. Okay? So here's our example. It says the size of a TV measured. Uh, the size of a TV is measured by its diagonal length. This is true. Find the size of the TV pictured using the Pythagorean Theorem if the length is 20 inches and the height is 15. So there is no picture, we need to draw a picture. So TVs are a rectangle, so we know those are right angles. So we want to figure out what is the diagonal length from one corner to the other, okay? The length of the TV is 20 inches and the height is 15 inches. So this is a right triangle, so these two sides are A and B, opposite of the right angle, is C. So we need to find the longest side using the Pythagorean Theorem. So we know A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A is 15, so we have 15 squared. B is 20, so 20 squared. We need to find C. So 15 to the power of 2 is 225. 20 times 20 is going to give us 400. So 400 plus 225 is 625. And then last, to get rid of our square, we take the square root to undo. Those eliminate. And the square root of 625 gives us a nice 25. So the diagonal length of this TV is 25. So in the store, it would say that this is a 25-inch TV even though it's not straight across, it's a diagonal length. The next one, we actually have two triangles here that are both right triangles. We need to look at one at a time. So I'm going to focus on this triangle down here first. It says find the length of x. We can't find the length of x right away because of this triangle, we only know one of the sides. We only know 14. We don't know this side here, I'm just going to say A, or that side, X. So we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem first to find the length of this side right here. So we know opposite of the right angle, that's C, that's our longest side. These sides are A and B, so I'm going to say this is A and this is B. So A is 6, we have 6 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared. So 6 times 6 is 36. 12 times 12 is 144. And I'm going to subtract 36. So we get b squared equal to 144 minus 36 gives us 108. Now our last step, we're going to take the square root. So we have b equal to whatever the square root of 108 is. So for right now, I'm actually going to leave it as the square root of 108 because if I plug that in my calculator, that's not a perfect square. It's going to be some weird decimal. And if I need to use that side length right here to help me find the length of this side, I want it exact. I don't want it to be rounded. So I'm going to leave that as the square root of 108. <clears throat> And I'm going to plug that in right there for right now. We know this side length is whatever the square root of 108 is. So now I'm going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared for this triangle. So c is our longest side over here. These are a and b. I'm going to say this side is a and this side is b. So a, they just are using the letter x instead. That's fine. B is the square root of 108, but it's now squared. And C is 14, so 14 squared. We took each of the letters or numbers and put them to the power of 2. Our square root and our square just eliminate, and we get 108. If you don't believe me, you can plug in the square root of 108 and your parentheses and then put it to the power of 2, and you will get 108. And then 14 squared, 14 times 14 is... 196 and then subtract 108 
Solving this should be a review from the previous day. So 196 minus 108 gives us 88. And then last, to get rid of the square, take the square root. Now I actually am going to plug this in my calculator because this is our final answer. Square root of 88 is 9.38 if we do two decimals. So that is the length of x, that side. For the rest of class, you need to create a word problem poster. You need to do at least four word problems. You're taking each of the problems and putting them on your construction paper. I'll let you choose a construction paper. You get to choose four problems. There are plenty more than four. You just pick four that you'd like to do. Um, and here are your directions. Draw and label your picture. Show your formula and showing your work. That will get you a four on this project. If you only do three of the questions, you'd get a three, two would get you a two, and one would get you a one, unless it's not complete work. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And then your 